On Friday, March 11th, California's Great America held their first event of the 2022 season, ironically being season pass holder preview. This took place at the park from 4 to 10 p.m. with select rides and attractions open during the night. In this review, I'll be sharing my experience, review, and thoughts of preview night at California's Great America. Naturally, we're going to start with my personal experience. After arriving at the park around 4.30, our first attraction we wanted to ride was going to be Gold Striker, but obviously, that was still getting some track work. Instead, we were going to go to Patriot, but to our surprise, it was unavailable the whole night. Finally, we made our way over the flight deck, which fortunately had a station wave, and we got a ride in row 2. Thankfully, flight deck was still as awesome as I remember from September, and it's definitely still my favorite being them in Ver. Afterward, we took the Skyride Delta Flyer across the park, and we're hoping to snag a ride on Grizzly, but that also ended up being closed the whole night. Instead, we rode Demon, which felt just a tad rougher, and Railblazer, which still strongly holds a spot for my number 3. Trying to hold out some low hope for some more attractions to open, we took a walk around Planet Snoopy, which included a ride on Woodstock Express, still as blends as I remember. Following this, for the rest of our night, were just a few smaller attractions, Barney Oldfield Speedway, Mass Effect New Earth, Rula Dodge, and Columbia Carousel. We had a few fun hours at the park, although besides some food and gift shops, that's about all for our experience. On to the pros and cons, the park pathways were pretty dead the whole night. This made navigating the park super easy and it's definitely not a hassle. Most of the rides also generally had low wait times, and the same for the concession stands, games, and gift shops. There were also some entertainment options, and you could clearly see the construction for Drop Tower, Gold Striker, Orbit, and Liberty Twirler. That being said, it seemed like half the rides in the park went down sometime or another, just to name a few. Other than these unexpected ride closures, I can't give any other cons, as the park did a great job in hosting the event. Now, since this isn't a review of California's Great America, and rather just pass holder night, I'm not going to go in depth and talk about the history, rides, or food, but I will say the atmosphere during the night was incredible. So overall, I think CGA could have definitely improved on certain aspects of this event, albeit most of them are probably out of the park's hands. That being said, pass holder night at Great America gets a solid 7 out of 10 for me. Anyhow, I'd love to know if any of you were at season pass holder preview and what you all thought of it. If not, if you've just been to Great America in general, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the front row.